Hey, what's going on guys? So before the video begins, two quick things. Number one, I would really appreciate it if you guys hit the like and subscribe button as it really helps me out. And number two, feel free to go follow me in my brand new Instagram account for this YouTube account. The name is exactly the same, Alter Gaming. The profile pic is exactly the same. And I think I'm just going to be posting memes in that account since that's really all I use Instagram for anyways. Um, so yeah, that's basically it. And now let's get into the video. After the success of Injustice 2, there is no doubt in my mind that there will be an Injustice 3. Now, whether or not there will be an Injustice 3 mobile, I'm not too sure. However, here are a couple of things I really hope they add to the mobile version, if there is a mobile version. Normally, whenever I list things, it kind of goes from worst to best. But since these are really just features I want to see in a game, there really is no ranking. These are just going to be things that I want in the game. So no idea is better than another. They're all basically going to be the same thing. And number one, I really hope that they add the grind ability of Injustice 1. So in case you guys didn't know, Injustice 1's energy kind of runs a little bit differently from Injustice 2. So in Injustice 2, you only have like 150 energy and that's it. Everybody runs on the same energy. And this is really great for beginners. You know why? Because you only need one great team and it can run on the same energy as everybody else. So you can just be constantly using over and over again that one team and that's it. But personally, I still prefer the Injustice 1 version. You know why? Because every single character runs on their own energy, which means that after a while, this really starts to pay off. Because when you think about it, when you first start the game, you're going to have a little bit of characters, right? And this is going to be terrible. For a beginner if you do this the injustice one version it's going to be terrible when you're a beginner because you're not going to be playing a lot your energy is going to be running out way too quick however over the long term when you have more characters and you have more teams the injustice one version pays off very very well right now if i were to play injustice 2 mobile i can run the entire i can finish my entire 150 energy in let's say an hour whatever it is i'll just put a number to it an hour okay but in injustice one as long as you have a lot of teams, you're going to be able to use your energy all day. And right now, if I were to log back into my Injustice 1 mobile account, you know what would happen? I could literally sit down and play all day the campaign. Because by the time that every single character re, re, um, refills himself in energy, I can be using everybody else. Once I finish one character, I can move on to the next character. And then I move on to the next character. And then when I'm done using all of my characters... The one that I started off using, he's, his energy is going to be refilled already. So I can just keep going in the cycle all day. It sucks in the beginning because, you know, if you only have three characters and one character runs out of energy and, you know, it only takes you like five minutes to run out of energy, you can only play for like 15 minutes and then it's over. But when you start getting 20, 30, 40 characters, you can be playing all day because everybody runs on their own energy. So I really like that about Injustice 1, since you can really just grind all day as soon as you get the ball rolling. Once you start getting your account into a higher level and you start getting more characters, it really starts to pay off over the long run. The next thing I would like to see in Injustice 3 Mobile is the gameplay of Injustice 2 just a little bit more updated. So in case you guys didn't know, in Injustice 1, the gameplay is a little bit bland and it's a little bit boring. The characters, they don't move too quickly and really the basic attacks are the only interesting thing about the game in terms of the, the mechanics and the gameplay. Um, but in Injustice 2, you know, you can move your characters around up, down, left, right, and that's a lot of fun. However, I think we all know that there is a small problem with like the lag input and just your characters not moving as fluid as they should be. You know, when the AI uses the characters in Injustice 2 Mobile, he moves absolutely awesome. It's smooth. You know, you can connect certain moves with other moves, but when we use it, we're really restricted. The characters don't move as fluid, and if they just updated that, I really think Injustice 3 Mobile could be an absolute killer if they have that updated Injustice 2 gameplay. Um, That would be awesome. I've always wanted to see that, but uh, I don't think the developers are ever going to do it in Injustice 2 Mobile, so hopefully they can do it in Injustice 3 Mobile. Moving on, I would like to see a reduction in the currencies. So in Injustice 2 Mobile, I counted this once. I think there was like 15, 15 different currencies in the game. And, you know, you have to be getting all of these different currencies, at least 10 of them, because you need to be using all of these. And that's just way too much of a hassle, man. In Injustice 1 Mobile, all you really needed was the credits. Credits could do 90% of the things in the game. But in Injustice 2 Mobile, you need all of these different things. You need the shards. In Injustice 1 Mobile, you could promote with credits 
But in Injustice 2, you have the shards, you have the orbs, you have the arena credits, you have the Justice League credits or the raid credits, whatever you want to call it. Um, you just have so many different currencies. You have the gems, the credits. It's just way too much of a hassle. If they just brought it down to just maybe five different currencies, I think that would be an, a really great blend to the game. It would be a lot less complicated for newer players. And I think it would also be a lot more friendly towards newer players. And um, if the developers really just care about making money in the game, I think they would, it would, they would make a lot more money if they just simplified the game. That way they can attract newer people. Because when you log into an Injustice 2 and you have to learn all of these different terms and stuff, I think it really turns players off. So, yeah, I just want to see a few currencies in Injustice 3 Mobile. Now, this next feature is one of my favorite features in Injustice 1 Mobile. And I'm really sad they didn't add it to Injustice 2 Mobile. And that's simply just having an offline mode. I remember one time I went to the beach and I really didn't want to be there. So, you know what I started doing? I started playing Injustice 1 Mobile. And it made time fly. But I can't do that with an Injustice 2 Mobile because you need an internet connection to be playing Injustice 2 Mobile. So it's it's really a no-brainer to have an offline mode. I feel like that's really one of the underrated things about video games. Because, you know, there are plenty of things that happen in life that you just, you know, don't really think about. And having that offline mode is a really good backup plan to have just in case if you don't have Wi-Fi around you. And it was really cool to be grinding out even when I wasn't online in Injustice 1 Mobile. So that, that way, whenever I hopped online, I could see what's going on, and then I could decide where I wanted to spend my credits because whenever I was offline, you know, I would just play campaign in, in Injustice 1. So if they just added that offline mode, I would be really happy with Injustice 3 Mobile. In addition, I also want to see a version of raids. And by this, I mean I want a game mode that requires teamwork and that gives you great rewards. Now, obviously, I don't know what the gear system would be in Injustice 3 Mobile. I'm pretty sure it would be different than Injustice 2 or Injustice 1. So I can't specifically say what the rewards would be. I just want the rewards to be great and for there to be teamwork. And Raids is really like a place where you can just kind of kind of release your stress because you just fight this boss that has a ton of health. And, you know, you're just going at him with a bunch of damage. It's really fun. And you get a lot of rewards out of it. I want to see something like that similar to an Injustice to Injustice 3 Mobile. Up next is actually two ideas that I think would work really great together. So you guys know that one of my favorite game modes in Injustice 2 Mobile is Champions Arena. Why? Because every single character only runs in one pip. This saves you so much time and I really love it. In regular arena in Injustice 2 Mobile, every character has five pips. So that takes five times longer. However, a lot of people pointed this out and I agree that also in arena, even though characters have five pips, you can refresh your opponent so that that way you can find who you want to fight. And once you find, you know, that one person that you think is going to give you good rewards and who you think you can beat, then you can start the battle. And that's a little bit better because that way you're not forced to fight certain people as you are in Champions Arena. However, think about how awesome it would be if you combine both of these features together. If characters only ran on one pip and you can refresh your opponents at the same time. This would save you so much time. It's ridiculous. Plus... I'm willing to bet that they would add more than just multiplayer as a game mode in Injustice 3 Mobile because in Injustice 2 and in Injustice 1, there's multiple different modes. So if you could find a way to save time in multiplayer, this affects the amount of time that you can play in other modes and you can focus on these other modes. Um, so I think that would be an amazing feature in Injustice 3 Mobile. Now I'm going to get a little geeky here because I'm going to be comparing this to the real world, but I want to see something that I would just call currency interest rates. Now, we already get this in operations. We get a form of this. So we know that when we throw a character into an operation, you know, we wait 10 hours, you know, two hours, whatever it is that you want to do, and it will give you certain rewards, right? So you get paid for having a character in the operations. So that's basically like an investment if you think about it. You invest this character. You can't use it in, in any other game mode, but you can keep it in operations. And then after a while, you get rewards out of this. Now, this is really great, and you can do a form of this in the real world. Now, there are certain ways that you can do this. Let's just do a banking account to make it really simple. In a banking account or a savings account, whatever you want to call it, you could throw your money in there, and you can be making certain percentages back. Normally, banks don't give out too high of a percentage, so let's just say 1%. But because we're talking about a video game, I'm pretty sure they can make it something more like 20% to 30%, right? I think that would be a pretty good amount. So what you would do in this theoretical mode you would throw in, let's say, credits, a version of credits. Both games have had credits, so I'm just going to say credits. I know I just said credits a lot, but whatever. Let's say that you had 1 million credits, right? 
let's make it so that you can not use these 1 million credits, but instead you would invest these 1 million credits and you would invest it into these modes. And what the modes would do is they would give you a return rate. And the return rate would be what the bank gives you, which is that 1%, except like I said, we would actually make it somewhere around 20 to 30%, right? This way, you can actually be making money all the time. What's one great thing about operations? It's that you can be making gems and credits while you're sleeping. You can do the same thing in this theoretical mode, except that you're going to be a little bit more specific. And instead of throwing in characters, you're actually going to be throwing in money. And it actually starts to pay off after a while. Let's say that every single week, you could throw in, you know, at, at every Monday, let's say, you could throw in the amount of, of credits that you have, whatever you want to put in there. Um, let's say that you want to throw in one million. And at the end of the week, you get paid, right? You get paid the 30%. And 30% of 1 million would be like 30,000 or something like that. I'm not too sure. Um, either way, that's not the point. And then by the time that week is over, the start of next week, which will be Monday, they get to ask you, okay, would you like to reinvest the 30,000? And would you like to add in more credits? And let's say you want to say yes. Okay, perfect. Now the second week, you add 2 million credits. Now you're getting 60,000 credits in return next week, right? This is this is how you do this. You can do this in real life. However, again, because we're talking about video games, I'm going to add a higher interest rate. And it's actually a really fun thing to do because you get to throw in big chunks of money. You don't have to use them. And then at the end of the week, you get an even bigger stack of money. That is a really cool idea. I would love to see that in Injustice 3 Mobile. And like I said, you know, operations is kind of like that, except it's just a little bit different. But um, everybody loves operations, so I'm pretty sure everybody would love this idea. Now, these last ideas, I'm really just going to rapid fire them since they're pretty much obvious. I want to see new characters. I want to see new passives. I want them to fix up the load of times, nerf the AI when you're comparing it to Injustice 2 Mobile, and shard sharing. So those are really just obvious things that I think they would add to the new game. Obviously, new characters, obviously new passives. Now, if we're talking about passives, I would prefer to see the Injustice 2 version of these things. So in Injustice 1, characters didn't have 20 passives like they do in Injustice 2. Um, they would just have like two or three at most. Uh, some of them even had only one passive, and that was really just it. But in Injustice 2, you know, certain characters like Batman Ninja characters have like 80 different passives. It starts getting absolutely insane. Now, to be completely honest, I kind of like the Injustice 2 version of it because I'm a big fan of chaos. And I like how chaotic the, the characters can be when they have a lot of different passives. It is a little bit difficult to understand for new players. But regardless, I just want to see new passives in general. Uh, again, I already said new characters. That's pretty much obvious. Fix up the load of times. Injustice 1 Mobile didn't have horrible load of times like Injustice 2 Mobile. So I want them to definitely fix that. The AI in Injustice 2 Mobile is absolutely insane. And it can even break the rules. It can do things that we can't do. So I want them to nerf them. And shard sharing. It wouldn't be called shard sharing because I'm pretty sure there would be some new different way to get characters. Um, and in Justice 1, you would just buy them off credits or you would get them off chests. And in Justice 2, you have the shards. So I just want a version of this in Injustice 3 where you can kind of share shards. Share, share, sorry, share shards. Um, and if you would unlock characters by using credits, then I guess you would just call it credit sharing or something like that. I don't know. Uh, but yeah, that would be an awesome thing to see in Injustice 3 Mobile. All right, guys, that's basically it. That's about, I think it's like 12 to 13 things that I want to see in Injustice 3 Mobile. I'm sure there's a bunch of other things that I'm not even thinking about. You know, when you're creating an app or a game, there are so many things that go into it. It's absolutely crazy. Um, I guess one thing I forgot to mention is better graphics. Uh, but, you know, that pretty much goes without saying as well. I'm sure you guys have your own ideas. I would really like to see those in the comment section. Um, again, there's just way too many things for me to even be thinking about. And I'm not supposed to be doing the, the developer's work, but it appears that that's what we're doing now in Injustice 2. So, you know, it's a little sad. Um, again, I don't think that Injustice 3 Mobile, I'm not sure if Injustice 3 Mobile is going to happen. I there, I do doubt it, though. Like, I, I seriously doubt it just because when we were when Injustice 2 Mobile was being made or before it was being made, there was a poll that said, would people rather just see Injustice 2 characters in Injustice 1? Or would we like a new app entirely? So a completely new game. And people voted for a new app. Now, I don't remember what the polls were exactly in terms of the percentages. But after what we've witnessed in Injustice 2, I really don't think people would want a new app. I don't think people would respond to that as well. Um, because Injustice 1 was actually pretty dang great. There was only a couple of things that were wrong with it. Um, honestly, if the Injustice 2 mobile gameplay went over to Injustice 1... 
Uh, yeah, it's over. I'm switching over. I wouldn't be playing Injustice 2. I would just be playing Injustice 1. Since building up rosters, you know, playing with gears, all that stuff is way better in that game. Um, it's just that in Injustice 2, I really like the gameplay. And there are certain other aspects that I like about it, but it's mainly just the gameplay. Um, so, yeah, I don't think Injustice 3 Mobile would happen just because I don't think people would, re would respond well after Injustice 2 Mobile. You know, the developers really just messed up a bunch of very simple things. And it's kind of weird that they did because Injustice 1 was so great. And I don't know if it's because they have a different team or something like that. But, again, I, I just don't think it's going to happen, man. And that's kind of sad. It's kind of sad because I would like to see an Injustice 3 Mobile where they could kind of make a comeback. I still have faith that the developers can completely can completely make a 180 and fix all the problems. I just I've always said this man, it's just we just need that one godly update and it's done. Everything could be saved with just that one godly update where they sort of fix the lag, they sort of fix the load of times, they sort of fix the graphics and everybody would be happy. It's it's just, it would be awesome, bro. It would be like heaven. I swear to god it would be like heaven. I would kill somebody to see this update. But I, I don't think it's going to happen. Um, so I guess I guess it's kind of dumb for me to think that they would do that for Injustice 3 when they haven't even done it for Injustice 2. So <laughs> I don't know what the logic in that is. But whatever. I would still like to see Injustice 3 Mobile just so that I could see new characters and new graphics. So uh, that's basically it. I hope you guys have a good day and stay safe and stay clean.